Hey guys, I was going to take a couple minutes to show you the new Mad Bite Fish Finder wireless. This is the new style, I think they call it the 3000. Um, I'm going to show you a couple little tips on setup and charging. Now charging this is really simple. This has a little plug in the bottom, three prongs, comes with a USB cable. One has two prongs, one has three prongs. Now really all you have to do with this is plug it into the bottom of the unit and then plug it into your laptop or if you have a wall charger that the USB will plug into that'll work also. Um, I actually use my little solar charger. It's a 10,000 milliamp. Um, it works pretty good for charging this. Now, when you charge it for the first time, it does have a very faint light under this top cover. Um, I noticed that the other day when I was charging it in the dark, when I turned off the light, it'll actually have a red bar that runs across it. And uh, when it's charging, that red bar will be on. And when it has a full charge, it'll actually, that bar will turn green. So then you know this unit is fully charged. So you unplug it and set it aside. Now for the fish finder, it's the same concept, but it just uses the two plug prong, plugs into the back side under this little rubber plaque right here. Plug it in right there. Um, what I do then is I actually power it on and see if it'll turn on here. There we go. And as you can see, it says 4.2 volts. That means it's got a full charge. Um, it took probably about two and a half to three hours to fully charge this off of my little charger here. Um, but it, at a full charge, it'll be 4.2 volts. Um, all right, so now we got the charging down. Now let's go over some of the settings. The settings are really simple. You just hit the little menu key right here and it'll pull up the setting screen. Now, a couple basic settings are the, um, the sensitivity. I put the sensitivity on auto it just makes it a lot easier. You don't have to deal with it, mess with it as much. Um, and then what you do is you move this little cursor key down. It'll go your depth range. I put that on auto also. Um, upper limit, I have it on zero. Lower limit, zero. Um, fish symbol, I have it turned on. It just makes it easy for me to see a little fish on there so I know there's a fish in place. Um, the depth alarm, I turned it off because I really don't need it. Next one is depth cursor. I have that turned off also because I don't really zoom in on anything. Um, simulator off because that's just basically showing you the modes that it does. It does you no good when you're using it. Um, if you hit the menu key again, it'll actually, it's hard to see here. It actually scroll across the top of the screen. So you hit the menu key one more time. And now it's on backlight. I turn the backlight off because I don't use it at night. Uh, volume. Oops. Volume I have on high so I can hear the fish alarm go off. Units. I put it on feet and Fahrenheit for the water temperature and the water depth. Chart speed, I have 50%. Now this I'll change um, depending on if I'm drifting real slow in the kayak or if I'm paddling or if I'm just sitting in one place. Um, normally the faster the sending unit is moving across the top of the water, the faster you want the chart speed. So if you're in a kayak and you're paddling or you're just kind of searching for the fish, you might want to move it up to, you know, 50 or 60%. If you're drifting real slow, you might want to move it down to a lower setting. It'll just pick up more detail that way. 
Um, fish alarm, I have it on just big fish. You can hit the cursor sideways, left to right, and it'll either turn it off, um, go back to the right, it'll go big fish, smaller fish, and then all fish. Uh, I hit back, go back to just the big fish. And then you hit your menu key again. And now we're on keel offset. This is for if you're in a boat and you actually have the boat sitting lower than the depth finder itself in the water. Um, I turn it off because I'm in a kayak. It really doesn't make much difference. Um, sonar chart mode, black and white seems to have the best picture. Surface clarity gets rid of some of the clutter that's on the surface like leaves and moss and stuff. The noise rejection, I'm not 100% positive on that so I'm not going to lie. Um, let's see what else do we have on here. English of course for the language if you speak English. And that is it for the setup on that. Um, hope that helps and I uh, hope you guys enjoy this fish finder I have really liked it so far um, fishing out of a kayak I just hooked a 30 pound steel leader to the side of it and then I hook it to um, the side of my kayak and it just kind of hangs off the back side and it works really well um, but if you guys have any questions, let me know and I'll be happy to help you out.